In this video, I wanna show you how you could either share your iPhone screen or your iPad screen into Zoom here. Now, I'm not sure about Android devices. I don't have any to test, I'm afraid. I know people are gonna ask me in the comments what about them and um, just putting my hands up and saying I'm afraid. All I can demonstrate with is what I've got here. This is different to using your phone as a camera. I'm gonna show you that in another video at the end. This is really if we want to share the screen. Maybe there's an app on there that we wanna be able to demonstrate with somebody. Or what I'm gonna be using here is actually my iPad and showing you how I can bring up a, a notes app on here. And by using my pen, I can do a much better job than using the whiteboard feature that's built into Zoom because on there, I have to use my mouse and try and do a drawing. It's bad enough when I'm doing it with a pencil. It looks really bad when I'm trying to do it with a mouse. So this is an upgrade to that. Now I would just say, if you're on a Mac, Ecamm Live does a much better job than this uh, and a much smoother way of moving between it. I've got a whole playlist about Ecamm, but um, I'm not gonna get that into that in this video. So. Uh, let's come down here. We're, we're in our main Zoom window, screen share, the big green button. And what I'm gonna do, it, you, you see there are a lot of options in here. You've maybe never even looked in here and realized what's available to you. But I'm gonna select iPhone, iPad via AirPlay. I select it there and I hit share. And you'll see that it takes over my screen with this big note saying, uh, now on my phone or my iPad, I need to connect to my Wi-Fi and uh, tap the screen mirroring option. All right, so we're already connected to the Wi-Fi. I access that option there by dragging from the top right and pulling it in. Here we go, and you'll see that little screen mirroring symbol there. And I just push that up and right at the bottom there, Zoom Adrian's MacBook Pro. Then I just tap on my screen to lose that. I can go into my Notes app and I've got a new blank note in front of me and I can sit and I can write away and uh, we just need to hit the pencil symbol at the top so it knows we're doing it from our pen. And away we go. So this could be a, a much better way to present like this or maybe you wanna do a presentation and run it from here on your iPad instead of having it on your computer. You can see as I'm typing on here how quickly that comes in there's no lag really in this, so that works well. And then when you're finished, you just click stop share up here and you come back to your main window. Now, as I say, uh, there's a much slicker way of doing this inside of Ecamm. Uh, do check out our Ecamm videos on here if that's of interest. So I hope you found that interesting and helpful. Let me know in the comments below if you can see of a way of using this or you've got an idea for it. If you want to know how to use your phone as a camera instead of uh, maybe a default built-in one, then we're going to do that in the next video that you can watch over here. I'll see you over there.